episode 296, Inhuman Strength. Doblar's body flew backwards, landing on a table across the room. Doblar coughed several times, and although immediately stood up with a groan, it was easy to see that he was dispirited and badly hurt. Due to the sheer force of Miller's punches, Doblar likely had more internal injuries at this point than external. The blows had been hard-hitting and well-placed, meaning that there was no way of telling exactly how bad he was faring, but it couldn't have been good. It was possible that by the time those internal injuries caught up to him, it would be too late for him. Learn the forceful punch technique that can cause grievous internal injury. Aiden raised his eyebrows. That was the first time he had encountered that message before. It seemed that this system could not only awaken and strengthen his abilities, but also make them change qualitatively when he encountered new methods of doing things. He could strengthen certain skills by learning new ones that were related, and being a high level at one skill made it faster to learn related skills. This sudden change made Aiden look forward to strengthening his other abilities. By now, the few guests who had stayed in the hall to watch the fight unfold were now running away and screaming. Even the Midnight Snack security guards stared at Miller in horror. They had never encountered this level of inhuman strength before. Lincoln was torn, wondering whether he should call the police or not. And the Midnight Snack Corner waiters were even more scared than anyone else. If it were not for Aiden still standing in the hall, they would have run in a swarm long before. Warren, who was shrinking behind a table, was staring at Jewel and Quinn angrily. You never told me that Brick was Jenna's ex. I would never have gone after her if I knew that. Jewel and Quinn had to smile bitterly in silence. It was funny that this was what Warren was caught up on. Obviously, no one had expected it to go this way today. But in any case, the entire restaurant was, at this point, cowering in fear because of Miller. Watching the ensuing chaos and knowing that Doblar was on his last legs, Brick gave a hearty laugh. I hope you all remember this next time any of you might think to cross me, he said. His chest puffed out. Brick commanded Miller back onto Doblar. Miller, pummel that guy straight into the ground, why don't you? Miller looked at Doblar, sizing up his prey once again. Doblar's breath tensed and his pupils shrank. He clearly just wanted to avoid the confrontation. But before he could gather his thoughts, another wave of pain washed across his body, and he fell to his knees. Clearly, his injuries were greater than he wanted to acknowledge. And in the meantime, Miller's fist was once again getting closer and closer to Doblar. The smile on Brick's face continued to widen. The waitstaff all hid, covering or closing their eyes. And Jenna looked once again to Aiden. Jenna's eyes wandered frantically around the room, because when she had looked back, Aiden had disappeared from where he was standing just a moment before. Fighting skills, plus one. Triggering expert level fighting skills. Triggering expert level strength. Another battle cry ripped through the air, and then a figure quickly flew out from the shadows in the same way Doblar had a few minutes before. Miller, his fist prepared to strike, was just reaching Doblar, who was kneeling prone on the ground. There was an impact, and a body flew backwards from the scene. The crowd of bystanders, however, watched in awe and confusion as they saw that the body didn't belong to Doblar, but to Miller. With a series of crashes, Miller's huge body smashed into dining chairs, skidded across tables, and finally hit the glass wall. The power of this blow was another level altogether. The glass shattered, and Miller flew out of the restaurant entirely. He groaned from outside the shop on the sidewalk. Almost all the people gasped and looked at Doblar, still kneeling in shock. How could he have? Then, a young figure suddenly came into view. Aiden? Is that the store manager? There's no way! Yes, the man who had suddenly appeared in front of Doblar and had knocked Miller into next Tuesday was Aiden. Among the shocked chorus of voices, there was Quinn, Jewel, Warren, and the waitstaff. There were also a few customers watching who had come back, hiding just outside the door so as to still watch the fight. But no matter who it was, everyone in the group shared the same feeling of utter disbelief. With only one punch, the Miller problem had been completely solved. And what's more, the killer blow was delivered by someone only about one third of Miller's height and build. And he sent him more than 30 feet backward. It was like watching a superhero movie in real life. A curious light flashed behind Jenna's eyes. It's true. 
he somehow learned Miller's fighting style in only a moment and used it against him immediately. Others might not have been able to see it clearly, but Jenna was keen to see that Aiden's body position, footwork, and movements were all imitated from Miller's. What surprised Jenna most, however, was Aiden's power. She, like everyone else in the room, could not comprehend how Aiden could have possibly thrown someone so bulky 30 feet away with a single punch. She suddenly remembered that she had mocked Aiden on the highway, calling him a waste. But now look, he had saved her for the second time. It didn't make total sense to her, but the thought made Jenna laugh out loud. Jenna's laughter broke the silence in the hall in an instant. Everyone was still confused and lost from the shock. Brick looked so stunned and angry that his face was turning red, and Jenna worried that he might actually explode. <laughs> How did you do that? My guy, he was an expert fighter, and you copied him! It seemed as if Brick had also caught Aiden's perfect execution of Brick's fighting style. But because of that, he felt even more incredulous. Those fighting moves and tactics had been passed down as a generational secret for years on end. It was limited to a very small group of learners, and it had never been exposed to the general public before. Brick could tell that Aiden's use of the style was more elegant and more effective than Miller's even. Brick felt absurd. He didn't know where to even begin in order to process what he had just seen. Who are you? He asked in wonder. You stole those moves. Where on earth did you learn all that from? He didn't at all expect that Aiden was not done taking from him quite yet.